the equation y equals two x minus ten is graphed below. We want to graph a line perpendicular to the given line that goes through the point five comma zero and also write the equation for that line in sloped intercept form or the form y equals mx plus b. Notice how the given line is also in sloped intercept form. The equation is y equals two x minus ten and therefore the slope of the given line is two, so m equals two, which we can also write as two over one. This is helpful because if two lines are perpendicular, meaning they intersect and form a right angle, or intersect and form a ninety degree angle, then their slopes are negative reciprocals. So if this slope is two over one, the slope of the perpendicular line would have to be negative one half. So in order to find the equation of our perpendicular line, we now just need to find the vertical intercept, B. Now let's go to our grapher and see if we can graph a perpendicular line passing through the point five comma zero. So we'll select the line tool, then click on the given point five comma zero, which is here on the horizontal axis. And now we want to select a second point so the two lines are perpendicular. So we can play around here and see if we can determine where the second point would have to be in order to form two perpendicular lines. Notice out here they do look, the two lines are perpendicular. But remember we also know the slope of this blue line is negative one half. So another method would be to start at the point five comma zero, go down one and right two, and notice how we get the same perpendicular line. So there is more than one way to graph this blue perpendicular line. Let's click here and then take this graph back to our presentation and show some work. Remember, if we're able to find the vertical intercept of this blue perpendicular line, then we can write the equation in sloped intercept form. But unfortunately this time, notice how the vertical intercept does not have integer coordinates. Notice how it falls somewhere between two and three. Which means to be precise, we'll have to find the vertical intercept or B using algebra. So we can use either point slope form of a line or sloped intercept form to find B. Let's go ahead and use sloped intercept form. And since we know the slope is equal to negative one half, in sloped intercept form, the equation would have to be in the form y equals negative one half x plus b. We also know this line contains the point five comma zero, which means the coordinates must satisfy this equation. So we can substitute five for x, zero for y, and then solve for b. So performing the substitution, we would have zero equals negative one half times x, which is five, which I'll write as five over one plus b. So we have zero equals, this would be negative five halves plus b. So to solve for b, we would add five halves to both sides. So b equals positive five halves, which in decimal form would be 2.5. And notice how, and notice how it does look like this blue line crosses the vertical axis at y equals 2.5. So the equation of our perpendicular line graphed in blue is y equals negative one half x plus five halves. I hope you found this helpful.